Well, the announcement tonight was that Pacifica, who are one of the major US film studio operators and developers, um, have decided to invest in the borough and effectively build a very substantial studio facility in Dagenham. Um, really, I think this is probably the most significant thing to happen in Barking Dagenham for many, many years. Um, in terms of opportunity, you're talking thousands of jobs, both direct and indirect, a new visitor attraction, something that will really put Barking Dagenham on the map and reposition us in terms of our position in the London economy. And it's great news for London, it's actually great news for the UK as well, and it's really exciting that a major US company has decided to locate, you know, they're basically the sole European operation will be in Dagenham. So brilliant news for the council and great news for B First, partly because we made it happen, but also because you know, there'll be lots that we can do with that company around the development of the site so that there'll be a financial return to the borough through possibly development management and other activities. I think it's their scale, it's what they were offering, which is both film production, TV production, visitor attraction, and a big part of it actually is what they've done in Albuquerque in New Mexico where they built their new studio. Um, a very, very deprived area, actually far more deprived than Barking Dagenham actually, where they've worked with the University of New Mexico, a school, um, the employment they've created locally. If you're another day, you're responsible for the Breaking Bad TV series and 50% of the crews working on that were local people and they've built a new crew base and everything in Albuquerque, in New Mexico, miles away from the centre of the US film industry. It's also their financial strength, they've got a lot of capital, which is very important in a project like this. You know, they are buying the site off the council effectively, so they're paying the full value that we paid for it. So there's no public contribution to this project at all, um, and that's important. Their ability to grow, build this thing out. They've got some very good technology in terms of studio construction, which is very fast much faster than a conventional concrete slab and steel frame. And so again, they'll be able to get up and running on the ground. And we were just really impressed by their ambition and uh, you know, grasp of what we wanted. So you know, it's a good match. We are now not just seen as a post-industrial place, we will be seen as a creative cultural place, a place where the 21st century economy is rather than the 19th and 20th century economy was. Um, it's also about the direct job creation. It's about the opportunities and direct employment opportunities which Barking has not had for 20 years effectively. You know, people being able to you know, travel short distances to work, a range of employment opportunities from very, very high skill technical through office, professional, right the way down to you know, lower skill level jobs, which again, every, you know, every culture and society needs. So a you know, real opportunity here for us in the future. Place, you know, financial investment, new jobs, positioning and it will bring other activities, you know, a facility of this size will bring numerous other support activities all the way down to people who make sandwiches and cut flowers and all that sort of stuff through to the very much more high tech part of the business which will go with that. And we'll start to relocate to this part of the world. So it's about putting Dagenham back on the map and putting us back in the economic forefront rather than just being seen as you know, 20th century Rust Belt.